for a journey with snakes. These people are professionals in finding and catching poisonous snake and they belong to a Irela Corporation which was undertaken by the government to protect snake. He finds the trait of snake in sand. Snakes are not capable to dig holes in sand and live in it. They live in rat holes and grow in it. Usually, a rat makes many holes to his living place. So, he will see all the holes and calculate which is the middle place and close all other holes. Now, it is the only traffic and this will make the snake to come out through only one way out. Then he starts digging the middle place. See, he found the connection between the path. These people will not use any safety measures like leather clothing, jackets or gloves. Rather, they will work with great reflex mind to catch poisonous snake. Do you see that? He took his hand fastly at the moment he saw the snake. Yes, finally he got one of the most poisonous Indian snake. This is an Indian Cobra. Cobras are one of the most beautiful and striking species of the poisonous snake in the world. They belong to the elephant family of snakes which include Cobras, Krets and Sea Snakes and there are over 270 species of cobra ranging throughout the Asian and African continents. Cobras are highly venomous and considered very dangerous snakes. Efficient hunters quite capable of protecting themselves whereas cobras deliver significant amount of deadly neurotoxic venom results in necrosis and respiratory collapse. This potent fast acting venom can result in human fatality as little as 30 to 60 minutes from the time of envenomation, especially in children due to their low body weight. In an average, cobra is about 1.9 meters, that is 6 feet in length and rarely as long as 2.4 meters, that is nearly 8 feet. The most distinctive and impressive characters of the Indian cobra is the wood, which is found at the anterior part of the body, spreading some of the ribs in its neck region, which is very threatening. As I mentioned earlier that these people are professionals in catching these snakes and they will catch these snakes for preparing antivenom. But the reason about how they are taking will be soon shown later. We are lucky enough to admire these snakes lying to us just like this because in other countries we can see snakes just living in jungle or in any forest. This is saw scale viper. Echis is a genus of venomous viper found in the dry regions of Africa, the Middle East, Pakistan, India and Sri Lanka. The name Echis is a Greek word that means viper. They are one of the species which are responsible for causing the most snake bite and deaths in the world. The venom of Echis species consists mostly of hemotoxin, relatively small in size with adults, never larger than about 90 cm in length. The head is short, wide, pure shaped and distinct from the neck. The snout is short and rounded, while the eyes are relatively large and set well forward. The crown is covered with a small, irregular, 
imbricate scale which may be either smooth or keeled. These people are working as a crew so he gets some information about a hidden snake over the phone. How we follow him to know what the information is about. It looks like weird but I think this will lead to a greater part of this documentary. I think he found something. He's showing this is a cover which made sand by tortoise and he's digging it. Do you see it? These are tortoise eggs. If there is tortoise, here the snakes will be somewhere closer to it. Then they want to move the place where they heard the information about the snake race. See, this is the trace of the snake movement in the sand. Now finally, we reached the place where the snakes moved. They are searching the holes but the sherbs are covered in. So they want the sherbs to be removed from this place. After they removed some part of sherbs, they started digging to find hole.
Now they are closing all the holes and wanted the snake to come out through this one hole. See, it really works. The snake have to come through this way only. This is again an Indian Cobra. This is again an Indian Cobra and is about 6 feet in length. Snakes in Cobra family are clever in venom delivery. Fortunately, many strikes are delivered as dry bites with no envenomation. It is easy to recognize the Cobra's characterizing threat postures when they are about to attack. Cobras extend up to half of the body in a vertical upward position and hood out right before striking with a bite or a spray. The reason for considering cobra as dangerous is almost immediately after envenomation, the victim may react with convulsions, drowsiness, headache, limb paralysis, loss of consciousness, nausea, vomiting, intense abdominal pain and excoriation pain around the bite era wound. Increased blood pressure and cardiac output is common but far the greatest danger in respiratory failure. Fan marks may be deep puncture wounds or evidenced only by a series of small lacerations. Cobra's long time a favorite snake, charmer or indeed mysterious beautiful creatures rising and mesmerizing the beholder with a hypnotic swaying motion. Cobras are thought to be one of the most intelligent snakes responding well to visual cues and these charmers specialize in getting the cobras to rise up and hoot out to please the tourists and gathering crowds. Unfortunately, many cobras are often have their fangs extracted or the venomous sacs removed shortening their lifespan due to mouth rot. This is a part of life for them. This journey is not for years. This journey is done from generation to generations, but the journey is still continuing. This is the common Indian crate. This is the most poisonous snake in India. It kills a healthy grown individual within one hour. The body color varies from a dark steely blue black to a pale faded bluish gray. The average length is 0.9 meters but they can grow to 1.7 meters. The male is larger than the female and also has a longer tail. These snakes prey on other snakes, lizards, frogs, rats and mice. They will devour their young beings, cannibalistic in nature. Young are known to earth anthropods. As per Daniels, the common crate feeds primarily on other snakes including blind worms. And other crates and also feeds on frogs and lizards and also small mammals. This snake is nocturnal. It is very active, agile at night. It often hides in rotten holes, loose soil or beneath debris so it is rarely seen during the daytime. The Indian crate's venom consists mostly of powerful neurotoxins which induce muscle paralysis. Clinically, its venom can 
synaptic and postsynaptic neurotoxins. These neurotoxins generally affect the nerve ending near the synaptic cleft of the brain. Once bitten, the absorption of the venom into the victim can be considerably delayed by applying a pressure bandage to the bite spot by using about the same tension as one uses for the sprained ankle and immobilizing the area of the bitten snake. These allow for gentle transport to the medical facilities where the venom can be treated when the bandage is removed. Such support should be provided until the venom is metabolized and victim can breathe unaided. If death occurs, it takes place approximately 6 to 8 hours after the crate bite. Cause of death is generally respiratory failure, that is suffocation. Often in rainy season, the snakes come out of their hiding place and find refuge on dry places inside a house. If bitten by the snake, when we wear a deep sleep, the victim may be dead before even awakens up. Now they are packing these poisonous snakes to take venom from these snakes and send it to the medical section to make and to reproduce as antivenin. The demo is from Russell Viper which belongs to the Viper family.